Undeniably, the most important part of achieving photorealism inside of Blender is the textures you are using. And while you could find some cheap and low quality images online, I'm actually going to be showing you in this video what I think is a much better way of creating textures for Blender. Now, the first thing I want you all to understand is that you can create textures basically two main ways. You can create them procedurally, which is using nodes and math to create a realistic texture. And while this does give you a lot of control and a lot of sliders you can adjust to create the results you want. Oftentimes, if realism is what you are going for, procedural textures are just not going to be the best option. So the second option is to use a photo texture. Now here's the problem with photo textures. A lot of the time, if you try to find one online, they're either not going to be seamless or just be very low quality in general. Plus, because it's a photo texture, you're obviously not going to be able to change it at all. Essentially, what you see is what you get. So that leaves us with a third option, an option that is not only going to let us have full control over what type of texture we want, but also make sure it is the highest quality it possibly can be, and that is creating your own textures. Now hear me out, this can be scary to most of y'all at first, however with this video I hope you realize just how insanely easy it really is. So there's essentially three main steps, the first of which is actually taking our texture, and for this literally all you have to do is go outside and take a picture of whatever texture you want. And by the way, if you can't find something outside, you can of course just go onto Google and find the image there. And honestly, you really don't have to worry about it being perfect, it doesn't really matter all that much. And of course, if the images you've either found or taken are very low quality, there are some amazing AI upscale tools that are free online. So if you're going to sit there and complain that your texture is too low of a resolution, now you pretty much have no excuse. So once you've found the picture you want to use, let's go ahead and hop into step two, which is extract the texture from the image. And while one of my most popular videos is already about this, and I'd love to redirect you to go watch that video, and hopefully even capitalize off of some of the watch time from that, I actually think there's a better way to do it now, which is a website called Sand Ripper. It's a free website, I'll link it in the description, and really all you have to do is upload the image and click the four corners of the texture you want to extract. And once that's done, you can download it out as a PNG completely for free. And now, here comes part three where I'm going to show you how to turn the texture we've just created into a full PBR material. And the reason this is so useful is not only to use in your own scenes, but once you've created a full PBR material map, you can even go out there and sell it and make a couple of dollars off of it. And for this, we're going to go to the website called withpoly.com. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and create a new texture. Next, I'm going to select upload an image and select the image we've just created. Then we're going to go ahead and click this button to make the texture seamless. Sometimes this will take a bit of tweaking, but generally the results are pretty accurate. Next, we're just going to click this button, select the type of texture that you think would work best for yours, and go ahead and click generate PBR maps. And now, as you can see, we have all of the different image textures we will need for any type of PBR material. So you can download this out as a zip file and legitimately do whatever you want with it. So if you want to check out with Polly for yourself, and by the way, this video is sponsored, then go ahead and click the link down below. So thank you all for watching. Thank you with Polly for sponsoring, and I will see you all next time. Bye.